All right. Well, we got the frame back from the powder coaters today. And it looks a heck of a lot better. Pretty standard back here. The gas tank we'll be painting it's probably tomorrow. We get the axles back on. Uh, we do have the Salisbury rear end, so we're good there for the torque we're about to put into it. The original cross member from the series. We ended up having to do a lot of work on the frame here where there was some rot, so this is all kind of a different configuration, but it's very comparable to what's you know, already on the uh, uh, frame, the Series 2A for the 109 for the 63 era. Probably anything after that. Now, we had to put in a, a Discovery cross member. We didn't have to, we just know that we can do it with this configuration, so we did that. Of course, there's the area where we removed the uh, handbrake uh, attachment points. This is the new transmission mount. You'll notice down in here we had to wallow out uh, some of the area for where the front drive shaft is going to go. And of course you can see here, this is new. So we cut and then everything shoved over and then we filled them with a flat piece there. That's going to paint out real nice. And this is the Ford engine in it with the advanced adapter engine mounts. And we, of course, fabbed a little bit of a different uh, front cross member here. Now, the shroud, if you remember, this right here is where the grill is going to go. And then the shroud comes across the front. If we ever put a um, winch in place, we thought that roller ball would look really nice back there, look kind of attractive. So we did it that way. But uh, in any event, that's where we sit for tomorrow, where we start trying to run brake lines and a whole bunch of other good stuff. So very rewarding day. Hey, Spenny. Oh, yeah.